18 is a question on transitions, and it's also a question dealing with punctuation. Planar rooms are more sparsely furnished. Their architectural features, furnishings, and decorations are just as true to the periods they represent. If you're looking to combine these two sentences, then you've got to work here on the transition. And if you choose answer choice A, well, by indicates examples. And this here is not an example of, um, a, pl of a planar room sparsely furnished. It's a contrast. Um, here, if you're talking about just uh, sparsely furnished, you might think, oh, it's an empty box. There's nothing there. But that's not true. They, um, and you need to make sure that you remember that these are also in contrast as well. See, uh, the semicolon here would indicate an explanation. And, and that's just not what we see. They're not related in that way. It's not an explanation of what came before. Uh, whereas does in indicate contrast, and that's what we're looking for, a little bit of contrast between these two sentences, but you'd be missing the word there. Uh, if you tried to read this without there, it would be the planar rooms are more sparsely furnished, whereas architecture features, furnishings, and decorations are just as true. Um, without the word there, then it becomes a dependent clause, and you need, um, it becomes uh, just difficult to read.